So I have a little clock slash white noise machine that I use to fall asleep at night. And I don't keep it right next to my bed, so I've always thought it'd be nice to be able to shut it off in the morning when I wake up without having to get up. So I'm going to use an Arduino to make it remote controlled. Uh, I took apart this right here, which uh, is connected to the buttons. If I connect these two, it starts playing the sound I like. So, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to hook a solder transistor to these two pins that is uh, flipped with a remote control through an Arduino to turn the sound on. And then I'll also have a transistor or maybe a relay hooked up to the actual like power to turn the power on and off as well. So I have everything fully ready to begin with the Arduino programming. I have this positive and negative coming out from the power jack PCB. And this is five volts, which will be perfect for the Arduino. And then I cut the power supply lines to the main uh, controller and I put a transistor across it. So that transistor will be run by the Arduino as well as this one on the sound buttons. Just to quickly go over the code, and this isn't the whole code, there's an interrupt that runs every second, and then I didn't include all the setup code. But just looking here at the loop, it checks to see if the power button's been pressed, and if it has, to turn it on, then it writes the power pin high, waits a second, writes the sound pin high, which just turns on those two transistors in sequence. And then there's a for loop, like a never-ending for loop, and inside that it just keeps waiting to see if the stop button has been pressed. And if it has, it just writes both transistors back to low and breaks out of the never ending for loop. I've got everything working. I've just been using this breadboard but to prototype everything through testing. And I'm using a little Arduino Nano to power the two transistors. So let's test it out. The power button should turn it on and the function stop button should turn it back off. Let's try it out. And there it's on. And there it's off. There's a one second delay when turning it on. The Arduino flips the first transistor to power the clock, and then it waits one second before turning on the specific sound. I found if that delay is too small, then it, the clock doesn't have time to turn on and it doesn't work. Soldered up my little PCB. Not the greatest solder job ever, but it should get the job done. Now it's just time to program an Atmega328 chip. Get it in there, hook it up, make sure everything works. I have the PCB hooked up now, everything plugged in correctly. Let's test it out. There's on. Off. On. Off. So I'll just have to figure out a way to make a little hole for these wires to come out, mount this receiver on top, and then it's just a matter of screwing everything back together. It's finished, got everything put back together. Can't even tell if it was ever taken apart. And all I gotta do now is demonstrate it. There it's on. There it's off. So when it's on, everything else still works. It's like, you can change it, the radio. Other than the rain one, which is the one that's hooked up to this. And there's the rain. Thanks for watching.